Welcome to the Danville Area Community College radio show. We are happy that you are here with us today, and we are even happier to announce that DACC has reactivated the drama club, the drama offerings. You know, we have such an amazing, beautiful theater area, and um, so we are very happy to see see that happening again. So today we have with us Angie Mansfield. She's going to tell us about her position at DACC, what she does, and then we're going to talk about how this all got started, Angie. Okay. I um, Well, I work for the adult education program, a, a program that you are is near and dear to, I'm sure, to your heart. I teach GED classes, and I am the recruitment and retention coordinator. So you are busy. Yes, I am busy. I am. <laughs> but um, so, okay, so this is how this started. Dr. Nako gives the governance forum, right, once a month. And um, it was my first one just to watch. I was just watching. Um, I had just started in my position. And he gives three things at the end of every forum. And his last thing was, can we please, please, please have theater? Those are exact words. Have live theater back at DAC. And I was like, what? You know, I was I was so excited because that I've done theater since I was 11 years old. It's, it's just my joy. It's what I love to do. And um, I, my heart like just jumped out of my, of my chest. And I probably emailed him 10 minutes after and said, pick me, please let me do that because I would love to. So here we are. Well, very happy that you jumped right in. So, man, you are really diversified. You're doing three different things. So uh, thank you for being willing to do that. But talk about your theater background. So um, are you from the Danville area and you did yep. this in the Danville area? Yep. I am um, born and raised Danville. Um, I went to Bismarck schools, but um, when I was 11, um, somebody at my church said, hey, I'm directing Annie. And I, we want you for Pepper. We want you to audition for Pepper. So I was like, I don't even know what this, I just know the movie. Like, okay, that sounds fun. So I was nervous wreck. Um, and um, I auditioned, I got the part and uh, loved every minute of it. So um, then I just never stopped. And then um, I did move away for a while after college and got married and had babies. And then um, once I moved back, I was approached by DLO and they asked me, they said, hey, I think you'd be a good director. And I was like, okay. And um, let's see, that would have been in probably 19, or 20, 2004. 2004. And um, they said, oh, we're doing Jesus Christ Superstar. You want to direct it? And I said, yes. <laughs> and I didn't know what I was doing, but I did it. And it was a success. So um, I just fell in love with directing and that part. But I've done everything. I can do, I paint sets. I do, I've done choreography. I've done, um, I run lights. I've done, you know, like stage managing. I've done producing and I've done like acting on it. So, but my favorite is directing. It really is. Wow. So and, and see it out there, you know, and, and played out. So. So um, a couple things. So First of all, thank you, because this is something that's been lacking for a while. And again, you know, such a beautiful campus, such an awesome opportunity. Really you have all of these different students coming from all over that, again, in Danville, you know, not just Danville, the whole surrounding area, the arts community that we yeah, have, it's, it's just so natural. Mm -hmm. It's huge. And we have so much talent in Danville for a city this size. It's insane how much talent we have. And how many um, like productions and the quality of them? It's it's we're really lucky. We are very lucky, and and again, you know, just thinking about the size of the area, I, I can't believe all the different offerings. You know, practically every every other weekend, there's some type of a show going on because we have yes. such a varied arts uh, community. Yes, it's actually really it's a great problem to have when you're trying to decide what show to, to see or on the weekends. So yes. It is. So, yeah. So side note. So as a director, as the show is going on, are what are you feeling as the show is actually happening? Um, I love it. I love the process. Um, you know, it's a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. And, you know, you're de dealing with a lot of different people, but I love it. Um, one of my favorite things about theater is the family aspect. You know, um, if you're in a show, you understand. You like you become part of the, you're thrown in for like two months into a show and it's intense and you have rehearsal at least three times a day, sometimes more. 
and then and you're also you're you're thinking about it you're getting costumes you're you know it's just like kind of consumes you for two months and you and then it's over but during those two months you bond with those people like the cast members and the crew and you just create this family bond because you trust each other you know you throw yourself out there when you're on stage you just do and you make yourself vulnerable and um so you trust each other to you have to and that you that trust you know you build it and you build that bond and like you know you do there are people um like for instance Susie small or Su Susie Gobin I've known her for years she's in in To Kill a Mockingbird and Brad Pollard I've known him for years and you don't have to see each other for for a year or do a show for a year but then you see each other or you do another show together and it's just family you know it's just like seeing family um and I that's my favorite part of it so when I direct a show that's what I mean that's what I love and um, just like, and as a director, you kind of create that family, you know, and create that that safe space for everybody to um, be vulnerable in, and um, you create that family atmosphere. And that's really what I love. But then there's the art aspect of it too. I, I have a vision of, you know, I go through the script and I have a vision, I can see it play out in my mind and having, um, being able to, to get the characters to do what, you know, and match what's in my mind, that's so fun. That's so fun. And they trust me and I love that, you know, like, and they, and it just becomes, it's just beautiful. It's, it really honestly is. It becomes this beautiful thing. And it, when it all works out and some, you know, sometimes during the process, it's crazy. And you're thinking, wow, are these people going to learn their lines and whatever, but it always works out, you know, and they always do. And, and you, um, because it's not always easy, but um, there's a, it's a, you know, you sometimes ask yourself, how is this going to work out? But you, you know, it will. It just does. So yeah, it's a super fun, fun process. I am enjoying it every minute of it. Well, again, just happy to see it reactivated as Dr. Nackle. Please, please, please get it started. Um, so talk about how did you pick To Kill a Mockingbird? Um, well, we wanted to go, go with something. And Dr. Mc, Dr. Penny, we call her here on campus, Dr. Penny McConnell. I um, She became, she's the executive producer. She's my go-to and um, we were discussing it. We wanted something that was timely and that was popular and something good that we could, you know, really sink our teeth into and get garner some interest for our first show back. So um, actually she suggested it. And I said, you know what? I was thinking that because it's it's been on Broadway, okay? And it's been um, such a huge hit on on Broadway um, with Aaron Sorkin, it, that's, it's his, uh, his version of it. And um, so it was just kind of like a really good timing to um, just bring it back. And mm -hmm. it's a beautiful story. It's a timeless story. Everybody's read it and, you know, their freshman year in high school. <laughs> and um, it's, it's fun to see, cause that's what you people usually say. I was like, do you know it? And I said, well, I read it in high school, but um, and to revisit it is there. You always find something new. It's in lessons. Mm -hmm. It's full of lessons. I mean, life lessons and important, important lessons. Right, that it is. Um, so this is going to be October 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Give us yes. the details. Okay, um, 7 o'clock on, that's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 7 o'clock on Friday and Saturday, and 2 o'clock on Sunday. Tickets are, um, adults are 20, students, retired DAC employees are 10, um, and you can get them. We have a new Jaguar uh, Facebook page. Ja we're the Jaguar Players, okay? So we've rebranded, and um, we have a new Facebook page. So everybody go and find that Facebook page and like us. Um, we um, and you can get the there's a there's a QR code that you can you can find on the Facebook page and just scan that and it'll take you to to online tickets. It's it's real uh, modernized and you know it's kind of exciting. So, but you can also get do be old school and get tickets at the door. We'll have people there. Um, we'll have Stephanie Higgins, my bestie office person friend. She's going to be at the door take, doing the tickets. So, um, yeah, so you can get them there too. Very good. Um, so, talk about some of the people that have signed up for the class, and can are people taking it as a class and or just as a community member? Can you it's, do both? This time, right now, it's just a community um, production. I don't, there's, it's not really a class yet. Um, that's something that will probably happen down the line. But so right now it's a community, community theater, because we have people from the community, you know, we have 
anybody was invited to uh, audition. And so it was open to the community. So it's that's it's community theater. This one is. Mm -hmm. So talk about some of the main characters. Okay, um, we have well, we have Atticus Finch is definitely the main character, one of the main characters, and he's being played by um, Pete Barrett. Pete is from Champaign, and if you just watch CI Living, you've seen Pete's work, okay? Because Pete, that's it, that was his baby. He, um, I'm not exactly sure what his title was at WCIA, but he was a big deal there, and he retired, and. Um, DAC, somebody from DAC approached him and said, hey, why don't you teach at DAC? So he has a TV production class here at DAC, which DAC is really lucky to have. Um, so he teaches here. And I was just like, hey, what do you think about auditioning? And he's a he's a wonderful actor. He's been in um, like the Champagne Area Theater. He's been in DLO before. He's done so many shows. So he's a seasoned performer and he's wonderful. I mean, wonderful. I couldn't ask for a better Atticus. I said he uh, gives Gregory Peck a run for his money. Seriously. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, he really does. And then, okay, so then we have Scout. She's the little girl. Um, I have Erin Cox playing her. She is the daughter. Um, she, I'm not sure her dad's name, but Kate uh, Halloran Cox. So her, she's a Halloran. Her grandparents are Hallorans. Everybody probably knows that name. Um, she is a seasoned, she's 12. And fantastic actress she loves theater loves to perform and you can tell she is invested she, i mean she has a lot of lines it's a big part for for a kid and she's i mean she's a pro she's wonderful she's been a dlo several shows for dlo and uh she's been i think performing since she was uh could walk so she's wonderful um and then we have let's see dill it's another kid he is um we have he's 12 year old Bodie ray he's been in theater for DLO and he is a natural he comes on stage and I just he's funny he has this just you know like sometimes there there's some people who have this like natural stage presence where they really don't have to do anything and they're just fantastic automatic and he's one of those kids he's one of those lucky lucky kids so he plays Dill and then my son actually plays um plays Jim Aiden Young he's 13 so he plays Jim he's doing a real good job um Susie Smalley or I always call her Smalley that's her her old name uh, Susie Gobin is um Miss Maudie and Miss Maudie in the play is like the narrator okay so um the play is a little bit different of course than the book but I mean it follows the story um but she's the narrator and she's perfection she's wonderful she's done so many shows for DLO and I've known her for years and years and years and um she Weird. I'm so lucky to have her because she's just perfection. But um, and I I recently got married, so I am a I'm now a Bergman. I, my name is really Angie Bergman. Um, I, and my husband is in it. <laughs> I just got to give him a plug. Hey, Brad. He um he's never done a show, but he's been a musician all his life. And he's a performer all his life. So um, I was like, hey, why don't you? You know, he loves to perform. He loves to be, you know, like kind of be in the spotlight. So I'm like, you need to be on the stage. So he's he's playing a little small small part, but I'm sure we'll see him again um, on stage. But um, we have so many good people. We have Lee Reed. He's playing or Reverend Sykes. Some people might know him as a saxophone player. He's a fantastic saxophone player in the area. Um, Brad Pollard's the judge. We have some students. Um, Dominic Gritton, he is a student here. He's part of the PTK um, on campus, and he's um, he's kind of a big deal around campus. So he's playing the, like the opposite lawyer, Mr. Gilmer. Wonderful. And you know what's really interesting is we've never we have so many people who have never been on stage before, and you can't even tell. I mean, they're fantastic. So um, it's, I love, love, love that. And I love to see when people are on stage and they're like, ooh, this is so fun. And they get bit by that theater bug because it's true. It happens if you, you know, not to everybody, but it happens for sure. So I love to see that process too. So um, uh, we, have a, we have more people than that. I just can't think right now, but um, we have Casey Marion. She's done a lot of shows for DLO in the area. She's playing Miss uh stephanie she's kind of the town gossip so we have newcomer taffy smith she if you know if anybody at the theater community belinda smith she's belinda smith's daughter-in-law 
and she's never been in a show before, and she's like, ah, she's a little nervous. She's fantastic. She plays the, the mean old Miss DuBose from next door. Um, so, and we have Savannah Baird. She's playing Hectate. She's a she's a, a student here. She's kind of a big deal student here at DAC, and she um, she's also a musician, and she sings. So we have a great cast. It's very diverse, and it's just, it's really, really, they're a pleasure to work with. Mm -hmm. So what about the set? How, who, or how's, how has the set building been going? Uh, Ronnie Johnson, uh, Jack professor. He's, yep. He's um, taken that on and um, he is busy building sets and then getting materials and things. And we're, we're getting that going. Um, but, and then the cast is going to help, but he's wonderful. You know, I, 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 I can, okay. So I can do most anything in the, in theater, like handle, but set building, no, I'm not a builder. No, you know, so that thing, that makes me sweat a little bit. There's a couple of things like, like some of the tech stuff and building, I don't do, and I don't know how to do. So um, he jumped in and he was like, sure, I got you with no problem, you know, and I, that's what, I love that. That's so, it's so good to have good people on your mm -hmm. team. So he's wonderful. Well, again, I think everyone's just super excited to have it back because it's been a while since yeah. we've had, a, had yeah. a theater department working. So, and again, the venue is just amazing. So October 20th, October 21st, 7 p.m. both nights, and then October the 22nd at two o'clock. So uh, Angie, uh, congratulations, Angie Bergman. Thank you. <laughs> I've already changed it on my notes. Make sure it's Angie Bergman. Congratulations. And, Appreciate you know, it. congratulations for jumping in because, you, you know, having a couple of different jobs at DAC, but just being willing to stand up and say, hey, this is something that I want to do. It's a big deal. So thank you for well, being it. willing. And I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> so well, again, we want to invite everybody out to Kill a Mockingbird October 20th and 21st at 7 p.m. and then October the 22nd at 2 o'clock. So Angie, I'm going to switch gears because we've got like two minutes left. Okay. Talk about Talk about adult education. You're in the the GED classroom, you know, everyone, of course, is called adult education, but it's a GED classroom. Mm -hmm. Tell us a few things about it. Um, my students, I love my students. They're fantastic. I have the um, the students who are getting ready there to test. Okay, so, and there's four tests, and we work, they all work on their own, um, uh, at their own pace, and, and on their own, like, they're all, you know, they all have different things to do. So, um, and they are, Recently, the test for state of, the state of Illinois has been free, and we've had like 30 people graduate. That's probably an exaggeration, but we've had a lot of people graduate, and it's, I mean, I get so close to my students that, um, you know, it, it's so exciting when they graduate because it's such a big deal, you know, it and it, we celebrate it. We make posters for them, and um, it, we, you know, and we put it out there that, you know, yay, you graduated, and now it's called um, Pritzker signed some legislation that it's a high school diploma no matter what and it's not called even called GED which is hard to switch over but it's so that that really helped the students you know with the mentality of it it's they're they're getting their high school diploma I mean it's mm -hmm. just it's such a rewarding job it really is I love 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 it and so we want to encourage everybody this is something that's offered absolutely free they have yeah. day classes they have night classes they have online options and you know you, you're here you're listening to angie so you see the enthusiasm that's in the classroom mm -hmm. um you know i think the hardest thing sometimes is to take that first step yeah, and come on campus mm -hmm. but after that you all just embrace them you're talking about the family feel yes. the theater it's the same thing with the with it this is. program and then we we encourage you know once they get their GED we say what's your next step where you know let's let's go walk down to uh, to counseling and advisement and see sign you up for your next step you know because there's so many opportunities here at DAC I mean you don't have to get your four year degree you could there's just opportunities for any any interest it's it's yeah. really a great place to work. Definitely. Well, thank you so much. We've been speaking with Angie Mansfield Bergman. She's uh, with the DACC players October 20th and 21st to kill a mockingbird 7 p.m. at the Dak Brimmer Theater and then October 22nd at 2. Great opportunity to come out and see live theater. We hope you will come out, visit, see what's going on and um, just enjoy the show. Angie, thank you for being here today. Thank and audience, so thank you. We'll be back again next week. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Laura. <laughs> You're welcome.